Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of Beyond Action. I'm your host, Merloski, and in this podcast we talk about the entertainment industry, everything that has to do with it, movies, TV shows, music, everything that I think that is a good enough topic to talk about, we will be talking about. And if you're new here, I don't know what you're doing because last week I talked about Scream and then I've been talking about a lot of things previously, so you should probably check those out right after you check out this episode. And hey, if you like this one, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. I know, I know, I know I'm a bit late to this, but hey, I think that it is the perfect moment to talk about Money Heist. Yes, it came out a few years ago and it ended like a year ago, but it is a very good show and a lot of you probably haven't watched it since I do speak in English and the mo- and the like it is a Spanish show, so a lot of people probably watch it in Spanish. And maybe a lot of people that are English speaking natively don't really think too much about watching it. But it is a super popular show that took the world by surprise. It is an amazing show with super likable characters and I love it. And so I just want to talk a bit about it. I I found it super interesting and I think that all of you will like this episode. So if you do like this episode, go watch the, the whole show. I think it's like four seasons or something really good binge watch amazing show i recommend it if you're new to money heist and don't know what it is then i don't blame you but let me just explain a bit so it is a group of people that is led by someone called the professor that gives everyone city names so if you hear me talking about someone in a city name it is probably because they are that that that's how that's their code name and that is how they are known throughout the series yes they do give a few like actual names but usually we just know them as their city names. And so they go into the Federal Bureau where they print the money of Spain and they rob it and they print their own money. And that is like basically what they're doing. They're planning on stealing all of that. And I thought that the show was super interesting and not to go and spoil the whole show and give you a summary of the show because you can go watch it. And hey, I think that it's an amazing show and one that all of you should definitely watch. But I want to talk about the professor, especially the professor's mind, his plan. The professor is the person that kind of gets the marble rolling and he starts the whole idea of robbing this bank. He recruits everyone he gives everyone like the classes, the lectures. He doesn't let anyone use their actual names and everyone has to speak in their city names. And so now it's like he he's the one that makes the whole show happen. He is the person that recruits. He gives all the guns. He gives all the ideas. He's the one that constantly controls everything. So he taps into security and sees everything. I just thought that it's very particular, the amount of ideas that he had about robbing a bank. Obviously, this was something that he's been planning his whole life. He said that his dad was a bank robber. And so he decided to become a bank robber, but he didn't have the physicality to do it. And so he decided to end up making that his career choice. If this sounds like something that you want to watch, then you should definitely watch it. I will be spoiling most of it because I think that his plan, when it goes off the off the wires and then he starts to make a second plan, it, it's very interesting. So I will be talking about that. But hey, the show's been out for a while. First, I want to break down the plan. The plan is a very simple one. They There are four different seasons and the first two seasons, they are attacking the, the bank, the, the Federal Reserve where they make the money. And then the second, they're attacking the federal bank where they get the all the money. I think that the first and the second one are very interesting ideas. I think that the first one is better executed, though, because in the end, uh, if you have seen the show, then you know what happens at the end. But if you've seen the first two seasons, then you know that everything does end up pretty well. Aside from a few casualties, you have everything relatively good. What happens is they go into the bank they basically just start and take everyone by surprise they get the people that are working in there and so they have the hostages still working they're not completely taking them down they're not killing all the hostages or having them like hey do this no the hostages are like having somewhat of a life inside of there they ask for food they bring them food and they they're just in there kind of like working to get the money They get the money out through some secret convoys that the police don't know about. And so that's how they that's how they do the idea. That's how the idea comes into fruition. 
And in the second one, the Federal Reserve in Spain, uh, I don't know if that this is actually uh, accurate because I've never actually been in the Federal Reserve in Spain, but apparently they use the gold uh, system. And so they have to go into the, the vault and they have to extract all the gold, even though the vault is going to flood because it has an anti-tampering system. And so they have to pull out the gold, smelt all the gold, and then send it to like a factory where then they will make it back into gold bars. And then they can actually use that money. Very intricate plans for one man to come up with all of that. I'm going to go buy plans. And so when I go by plans, I'm going to be going by doubled seasons. So in the first plan, they go into the vault. Obviously, all of them are armed and they don't really want to use lethal force like the professor says, which is very smart, but that's very easy for people to try to revolt. And they do try to revolt in some cases. Some cases are very weird. The, the show goes on for a very long time, but it's very crazy how all these people like they, they say at the beginning, hey, we don't want to hurt you. We just want money. <laughs> and so everyone kind of like complies because obviously you don't know if these people that are attacking are actually going to like hold up their their threats. And so you have a lot of drama that goes on in there. Basically, they end up getting everything, but then the police start to push in. And so then you have a few casualties trying to fall back in line and you have them escaping through the vault through where they already have a bit of money saved up which i thought to be a very interesting tactic obviously they blow the tunnel so that like the idea the idea was for everyone to get into the vault they escape through a tunnel made by the professor and a like construction company that knows the professor and they wouldn't snitch to the bank which i found to be a very weird idea because obviously they're going to set some type of perimeter and they check everything. So you would have to be digging for a long time. And also how would you dig to a bank? Does that make sense? I don't know. It's a very interesting plan, but that, that is the gist of the plan. In the second one, like I explained, they go and they, then they, they're going to smelt all the gold. But their idea is a very similar one. They just go and get the hostages to kind of work for them. But in this one, they're not as involved as they were in the first attack. They were kind of just there to scare off the police. Some of them knew what they were doing. Some of them were even like hidden people for the job. And so you just have a lot that's going on. And at the end, everything just kind of goes awry where the police get in and so then they are now they now all have a gun to everyone's head and the professor is meant to be the person to save everyone but his idea is to go into the bank unarmed and just waste time until he gives he gives the police chief a dilemma that he has to accept he says it's either us or you never see the gold and so then the the country goes into financial ruin because then you don't have the gold standard. And so everything just ends up lining up perfectly for them to get out and actually survive. But it's it, it goes a bit more awry from from what I am saying. The role of the characters, obviously, when you are attacking a bank, you have the professor, which is the mind of the operation. Then you have Tokyo, which is like one of the hired guns, uh, you have Denver, which is also like a hired gun. You have a lot of people that are just a hired guns. You have Berlin and Palermo, which are two, uh, they, they attack in two different parts where they are like the, the professor's voice inside of the attack. But a lot of people don't believe in them. A lot of people think that they are just like very out unstable people and out of their mind type of people which yes they are but they're the people that have the most direct connection to the professor and the people that the professor mostly trusts so obviously the group is going to start to turn on each other when things start to go wrong and they're going to feel a certain way and so these are the two people that are there to kind of set like make everyone calm down you have helsinki and oslo which they are two also hired guns a lot of people are there to just make sure that everything happens well and then you have the basically the manager and then you have the person that is 
commanding the whole operation. In the second attack, though, you have Palermo, which is the the main, like, the person that is in charge. And then you have everyone else around. But a lot happens where uh, Palermo is out of commission. And so you have Tokyo getting in involved. You have Helsinki getting involved. You have all these different characters trying to get up to the lead. And obviously, you have the professor that should be there giving everyone the instructions. But he's obstructed because the police are investigating on him, too. Because he obviously revealed who he is, and he revealed that we have a idea to do this again. Very weird to announce the fact that you're going to be attacking the like a big monumental thing because then they put security and then you go and actually do it. But hey, it works and everything works out in the end. A very interesting philosophy that I saw from the professor and one that I could very well agree with is the fact that if you're going to be robbing something you shouldn't have a very big personal connection to the people because then like feelings and emotions really do dictate how good the the attack is and if someone is emotionally or physically just in the wrong then they will be making the wrong decisions and that could put everyone else in jeopardy but nobody listens <laughs> it's, it's a very funny thing because you have people that don't even know each other's names but they decide that hey let's just be together and have like somewhat of a relationship while like it's just there then you have other people that are in love then you have uh the professor is it, like his girlfriend is Lisboa which is in the second attack and you just have all of these different characters that just it builds up the tension of it and so you have everything that just makes a lot more confusion and it makes a lot more people make a lot more mistakes because then they tend to get carried away with what they feel instead of what they know is in the right and so you have the revenge stories of like the first one where uh you have denver uh, obviously being with uh stockholm and then you have uh the the dad of the baby that stockholm currently has being super jealous because Stockholm is a nod to the Stockholm syndrome where you fall in love with your captor and so that kind of happens and you kind of just see it get played out during the whole during the during the whole show where this person that the captee falls in love with the captor and then she ends up becoming a part of the crew in the second attack the the show has a very broad and political message to send it shows how money can turn anyone against anything because you have them at the beginning they just throw money to everyone like in, at the beginning of the second attack they throw money to everyone on the street and then everyone starts to protest the government because they think that these guys are right all because they like gave them a bit of money uh, like without even knowing too much of the reason yes he does go into the idea that one of their people were uh, held and they didn't get a court date and they were just being tortured like he does go into that, but a lot more people were just focused on the money. And there's a lot of ethical boundaries that the, um, that the political side of Spain, they crossed in order to try to detain these convicts, because at the end of the day, they are convicts, they are breaking into banks, and they are trying to steal stuff. But you start to reason with them because like, they're the characters that you follow and the characters that you start to care about. So you don't really care too much about them being the bad guys. You actually think that the police are the bad guys and that they are the ones that are in the right, which I think that they are because, hey, I've seen the show and you start to actually like the characters a lot. At the beginning, you're like, hey, no, this person is super unlikable. But then by the end of their story arc, they're one of the most likable characters on the show. The show ended in December 3rd, 2021. And... I honestly really had a lot of fun with the show. It was an amazing show and it was very interesting to see the detailed mind of the professor. You don't really understand how he thinks about all these types of things and how he knew the risk that it would be to go into the into the second attack and say, hey, if my team goes down, I go down with them. He goes, turns himself in and right as everything is about to go down, he gives the police chief an impossible decision, one that he has to know is going to work because if not, he, he's just going to shoot and kill everyone else that has helped you with the attack. And it's just one of those things where you don't really know if 
it would work out in a situation like that. Obviously, it's different because every person would have a different type of conviction. But in the end, they end up faking everyone's deaths and everyone ends up making it out alive and they end up getting their well i i don't know if necessarily they get the money that they stole i'm pretty sure that they do because they buried it underneath a house but they do probably get like some type of cut and so now they will live very comfortably just as outlaws and not very like they can't be in the public eye because then obviously the government would know that they kind of let them go so it's very good planning on the professor side which i think is a very interesting thing because being able to plan that much and that much ahead is very interesting and it takes a very spe special type of character yes he is a made-up character obviously this isn't based on true events if it was then i would be very scared to see how all of this would have turned out but it was a very good show and it just showcased a lot of very good ideas it had all the drama it had all of the love that a lot of people like it had a lot of action sequences i had a lot of fun with the show and i know that a lot of you would have a lot of fun with the show so i would i would definitely recommend that all of you guys watch the episode uh, watch the show because it's a very good show again it's four to five seasons i'm pretty sure it's five seasons but it's a very interesting show and I think that a lot of you would love it. Yes, it is originally in Spanish. So if you speak English, like probably most of the viewers that watch me, uh, they will have like that type of thing that I hate where I watch something from a different language and so the mouths don't line up. But I think that is completely worth it with the story that is being told. Um, I think that it is very beautifully like made. The, the show is just an impeccable one and i think that every one of you guys should watch it so with that being said thank you everyone for watching this episode of beyond action if you have enjoyed then do subscribe follow wherever you're listening to hit the bell comment down below what your favorite part about the show was if you're gonna watch the show or if you're interested in watching the show just type it down below hit the like button and thank you everyone for watching this episode i will see you all next week